what is up everyone we are here with the metal gear solid uh legacy collection one just released the other day on uh, steam and other consoles as well uh we are going to be i wish we quit changing this that's a bug i wish they would fix already uh so while i am yes technically using a um Xbox controller, I prefer to see the button layout of the PlayStation because that's what I have memorized. Because honestly, like for me, I always screw up the idea of trigger and button when it comes to the left and right. I prefer the L1, L2, R1, R2. And again, just the A, B, X, Y. Again, it makes logical sense where they're at, but Again, triangle, circle, cross, square. So. We are going to be starting the game. Uh, it has been oof, a very long time since I've uh, played this. Uh, I do have my original PS1 uh, version. I did consider playing it, uh, but then, you know, this released, and I had a lot of negative complaints at the very beginning. We'll see if we encounter a lot of those things. Um, so, we're going to do just the Metal Gear Solid. I'm not going to worry about the VR missions or the special missions or anything like that. Uh, we're just going to focus solely on Metal Gear Solid. If this performs well, then maybe we'll look at Metal Gear Solid 2 and uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. So we do have the online manual. And I do have the original manual as well. So it just lets you view the front and the back. It's not really the manual. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and start this. Remember, guys, if you do like what you see, if you'd like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Do, 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 do. Always remember that. Now, I never did, before I played this, played the originals on the NES. Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear 2. Uh, this was my first experience into Metal Gear. Uh, so for me, like the uh, the background stuff that they keep making reference to of all these different things that have happened, uh, they, they were lost on me when I first played this game in 1998. Eh, you know, quality-wise, looks a little better than what the PlayStation version looked like. Uh, maybe not. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Again, I know this is just like an HD remaster, but I still feel like First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief still Donald not as sharp as it could be. And the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? Approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. Swimmer delivery vehicle. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. I feel like his neck would have snapped a few times there. High tech special forces unit Foxhound. Your former unit. One that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this. Yeah, that's character. obviously more for us. Psycho Mattis. The one you were a part of and Psycho I was in charge of. Well no shit. Sniper Wolf, the 
beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan raven, giant and shaman. And revolver ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. You get caught, we don't know you. Hey, now we can actually start the game. So... I don't have a controller that does this, so... Uh, okay. Uh, we will go ahead and start a new game. We do have the special here, by the way, which uh, the previous operations was talks about Metal Gear and then Metal Gear 2. I'm not going to worry about those. Uh, let's get right into the game. I've done enough talking already. Uh, we will do this on normal. Sure. We get the uh, got a new mission. Uh, achievement. Don't know why it's not showing. Might have to make some adjustments for that for next time. So, from what I'm aware of. From what I've read, at least I should say, uh, this is running through an emulator and it's just a Metal Gear Solid iOS, or ISO. Uh, so in theory, you could extract the ISO out of here and run it through a emulator. sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. Neat. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The select button, the touchpad. The codec receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. But they'll hear me talking. Okay. I'm ready to go. Those are some slippery controls. Are they always that slippery? We have a ration down here. I actually do still have my uh, walkthrough book for this. Uh, how do we lay down again? There we go. We on homie here. Turn around. Thank you. We do want to be careful we don't splash. Okay, we got our other ration. We can go over here and get the weapon. Should be a... Uh, 
shoot the Thank elevator's not there. There's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Thanks. Another ration, okay. It's when we get ups uh, up higher that the uh we have the uh, vehicle we can climb in the back of. So we just gotta chill here. And we wait. Good. Poor guy that comes off the elevator. There he is. Get a little bump, Dillweed. Thank you. And then we get the snake undressing scene. I remember if I've said this already, by the way, but hey guys, remember if you do like what you see, if you like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe, that'd be absolutely amazing. Uh, I know this is not what my channel has been a lot of lately. I've been doing a lot of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Um, I do play more games than just Final Fantasy. It's been a hot minute since I have. Still also need to finish my Final Fantasy VII playthrough as well. And we get Sneak. Uh, like I said, how much of this am I going to do? Will I do the whole game? Will I do part of it? Honestly, I probably will do the whole game. Uh, a lot of it really is going to depend on views. We'll see what kind of views this gets, what kind of interest this gets. Um, I got a lot going on, so whether I finish it in my own time or I finish it for here, I don't know. We'll see, but hopefully you enjoy the playthrough. For those of you who have played this game in the past, you know, comment down below, you know, when did you first play this game? You know, was it uh, the original PlayStation? Did you do? Uh, it was it emulated? Was it an HD collection? You know, what was your first experience with this game? And uh, which one was your first Metal Gear game? You know, was it Metal Gear for the NES? Was it Solid? You know, two, three, four, five. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. No Take shit. Easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Ooh, that is some uh, legit looking imaging. I really feel like this could have been touched up a lot better. Again, I understand it's a PS1 game, and I would understand it looked like this if I was playing the PS1 version. But this seems kind of. I, I really feel like this is. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. I really wow. do feel like this you is just a straight ISO rip. Kind of Who's that? Mei oh, Ling. Sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec 
as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Get on her. What's Get on wrong? Her. Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Dale. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. And again, isn't yeah. the codex just a thing I'm in the ear? So how does he see her? About the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. I mean, am I wrong in the that? The right dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The G Was the field of vision always off to the side of them? Of Look, at it, it's not centered therapy. with the dot. Make sure you don't let it's off to the left of it right now. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and Not look to for the, the right. DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. There it's if in line. Alive, that is. Now it's off to the left again. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Convenient. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. Well, no you shit. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. He gets and a smoke, though. Taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Damn. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? You don't want to know. Stomach, thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You know, you get the, the thermal thing and you don't need the smokes. But you can use the smokes as a way to get past one of the thermal things. Or, so the thermal is where you see the, the red lines. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. And the cameras. Five, five, sixers, pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There's one on the ground and one up top. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. It's there. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. All right. We gotta watch out for the spotlights. We gotta watch out for cameras. We gotta watch out for peeps. Uh, we just watch out because we do leave footprints in the snow. They disappear over time, but. Right over here is where we get the SOCOM. And we can go ahead and equip it.
I don't think I can wake him up by hitting... How do you knock? Uh, circle? Huh? What was that noise? Hmm. Huh? What was that noise? A surveillance camera? Hmm. And we're in. I think it's the first time I've actually gone through the bottom vent. Usually I go to the top vent. Got the rats. What's down here? I know the ration that I can't actually take. What was over here? What's up, buddy? Yeah, usually I take the second path, so, or the upstairs path, so... Another ration I can't take. Alright, let's go the other way, towards the rats. Yeah, the controls are a little slippery. That was something I did read. Wonder, could I actually go back out? Yeah. Just keep going. Rats. This is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Thanks. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Follow the mice. So we should be able to go down. We can, yeah, pull up each of the... Neat. I don't think you deal with that if you go up. Keep running, dudes. So is this another gated off area? Uh, so I remember if you go, I think you have to go upstairs, there's a, either like a weapon or something like that. Use the elevator to change floors. Thanks. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. You can crawl under the tank. All 
I remember correctly, there was actually something pretty good upstairs. Some hair in there. That's what I was looking for. Okay. You hover against the wall. You can't be seen. Shit. Slippery controls. That raise rushing. Close quarter combat. Shoot. Put that away, maybe. Yeah, messing this up. But we have the thermal goggles now. Slippery, slippery controls. I don't remember the original being like that. But again, I very well may be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. I see B1 or B2, shit, I can't remember. It is this one. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Oh, do we do the, the little Easter eggs here? The green dot, that's a green blob. Press the action button. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Go ahead and drop a save real quick. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Uh, save and storage one. Wow, it, yeah, this is totally an ISO. There's no way we just have the 15 blocks, like, that's that was a PlayStation One memory card. Disc one. Huh. Come on, Snake, you can do it. This has to, yeah, this is this is an ISO. Don't need the rations out. Uh how you do is it? How do you look down? Is it just the... There's a place you can... 
There we go. Ugh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. I remember correctly, there's like a whole story about that dude. Let's get the bullets. There's no way we're turning around like that in an actual that chair. Alright, let's go find Meryl. Let's go creep on her. So I can't remember if it's you look down, you move away, you move back, you look down, or if you you look down, you let go, you look down, you look down. Or you let go. That's how you do her little Easter egg thing. Is that a woman? Is that a woman? It's like you move back, move forward, look down again. Oh, wait, you have to, like, go all the way back down the ladder, don't you? Like, you go to the ladder, go back up, or go start to go down it, go back up. It's been a while. Like I said, I mean, it's been, what, so 25 years since I last played this game? Oh, I just also realized that there is a... Oh, can't really go that far into it. Whatever. Oops. Wrong button. I honestly don't think I've ever grabbed that ration before. So we should see that there was a change in Merrill. And now she's doing one handed push ups. Again, does this do anything? No. Ooh, are we going to go ahead and do all the Easter eggs with Merrill? At least all the ones I remember. I know as well, like, if you move fast enough, you can catch her, like, changing. Uh, if you stare at her in first person long enough, she'll slap the shit out of you. So, I wonder how they're going to handle the Psycho Manus fight here. Because obviously I can't switch my controller. Doing some leg stretches. She'd just look up, she'd see us. Uh, so we should get what sit ups on the floor next. And then she's doing sit ups in her underwear on the bed or something like that. Takes a long time to do this little. And again, who first found this? That's what I want to know. Again, I'm assuming this wasn't removed. This is basically just a straight ISO. I mean, with adjusting some text in the realm of, you know, use the touchpad. While well, he says select button. Even though I'm sure if I probably would have had it set up for the uh, Xbox controller, they probably would have said, uh, shown select button as the verbiage. <laughs> oh, nope, there's the setups on the underwear. I still think there's one more, because it isn't like the... Uh, her takes off like she's just like in a bra and underwear next time. And then she goes back to normal. Oh, 
one more time. It's taking me, what, four minutes to do this? All the little things I'm remembering. I actually do have the Brady Games strategy guide for this game somewhere. It's beat to hell. I think the front cover's ripped off, but... Oh, that's right, we're doing the one-handed push-ups with the underwear. So there is another one. Now the question is, am I going to save Meryl or am I going to save Otacon? I mean, it really only affects the, I mean, obviously the ending, but it, if you're going to do the new game plus replay again, what item you have to run through it the second time. If you save Otacon, you get the stealth suit, which you could do basically whatever the hell you want in the game. No one's going to see you. And if you save Meryl, you get the bandana, which gives you unlimited ammo. So it depends. Are you just want to be stealthy or you just want to just annihilate everybody? Which it doesn't help you during the boss battle, so... Yep, she's in her underwear doing this. Uh, was that the last one? Shit, I can't remember. If she goes back to being, uh, you know, fully how she was at the beginning on the bed doing the sit-ups, then we're, we're good. We can go rescue the quote-unquote DARPA chief. Almost there. All right, yeah, so we're back to the beginning of that. Okay. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. But yeah, they don't tell you how to. Hmm? What's that? <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Terrorists. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. Metal Gear. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Dun, dun, dun. Metal Gear. Roll credits. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. 
put it through nowhere. We had a couple of run-ins in the past, so that's the reason you were here at this disposal site. Dude, you're top secret, you know, top right, clearance, and you didn't know that he's ran into this thing a few times. I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Obstech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Mass production. So we need mass production walking nuclear freaking weapons. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Terrorists. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. What's going on in there? These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh. You mean PAL? Yes, of course. Pal. There is a PAL. It's He's set your up pal. so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. Where's a mask? A gas mask. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's tooth. If they find out Baker's password. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert Convenient. a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. This is often information for much later Baker. in the game. Somewhere in the second floor basement. To second be. floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pad card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission beam. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What Box die.
dead. What the hell happened? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. He's a douche. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Oh, that's right, yeah. I should have saved first. So you killed the chief. You bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Your eyes, they're green. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> I got far enough with this. Oh, it actually auto uses the rations? I didn't think it did. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Wait. <laughs> Good old snake. Who are you? Success. Good girl, just like that. The hell was that? Naomi, I just had. 
had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. All right, so we go in. Should take my card. Oh no, we have to have the card equipped. That's right. So, is there anything I can access over here? Bullets, because you know everyone wants bullets in the shitter. Go under the desk, because why not? Is there anything in her room? Uh, didn't his room, the Darpa Chiefs have a ration underneath it? Yep. Okay. I think I already grabbed this ration, right? Like I actually had enough to grab. Yep. I think there was another one up top, but I think we're okay to move on. Level six. So we're gonna move, or you know what? Let's go ahead and call it here. We'll go down in the next one and we'll What's follow uh, Meryl. Let's just do a new file. Perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna call that one here. Listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Good to know. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Alright, so yeah, we're going to call that one here, guys. So thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, if you like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already. That'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you again, and we will see you in the next one.